All right, good evening. This is Quintus Curtius here. It's May 11th, and this podcast is going to be my first reading of small accounts. You may remember I've been on a binge of enthusiasm with small accounts lately. And when I say small, that's kind of a judgmental thing, but um, it can be anything from, say, 500 followers or less. But lately I've been looking at really small accounts, accounts with like no followers or one or two or three or five followers. Because, you know, when you think about it, if someone is putting out content when only they've got only a few people listening, that's someone that really has something something to say. That's someone who's um, who's just has to get it out. If you're putting out original tweets with that low of a follower count, that tells me that you really are speaking from the heart. You want to be heard. Now, there are those of us with, you know, and again, everything's relative, but larger accounts that are just so... Uh, compelled to speak that they'll they'll continue to to be honest and sincere even if they've got you know 50,000 60,000 followers but I just really like these small accounts because I feel like there's a it's a side it's a side of Twitter that you just don't see and I'm frankly I'm, I hate I'm starting to hate these blue check accounts a lot of them they're just all careerist it's all safe it's all boilerplated it's all this you know, my brand, my brand. Now, I want to listen. I want to hear from people that don't give a shit about their brand. I want to hear raw, honest, brutal reality as they see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at my feed that I've of uh, tweets that I've retweeted uh, and start going down the list and just seeing what um, what good things we can find here. All right, so I'm going to start, this is one from today, from Deep. <laughs> and you know, one of the great things that I love about these small accounts, these names are awesome. A lot of them have these very idiosyncratic names, very unique names, very strange names, very expressive names, and you just have to respect that. All right, this is from Deep Fake O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Deep Fake O.J. Simpson. A crumb of validation from my favorite podcasters is the only thing keeping me alive. That's good to know. All right. Well done. All right. Let's uh, let's keep going. Here's a guy. This is Samson. (laughs) And he's a a small account. Currently getting deep-dived by Quintus Curtius, probably because of his small account interest in feeling self-conscious about my lack of original content. And I responded to him, Oh, now fret not. Just be yourself. The only thing that matters is sincerity. And isn't that the truth? All right, let's keep going. Superfluous. This is one from Superfluous Man. (laughs) Superfluous Man. Make strong old dreams, lest this our world lose heart. And that sounds like some sort of line from poetry. It might be Shakespeare. I'm not sure. But anyway, very nice. All right. This is one from Dabs for Deleuze. D-A-B-S, the number four, D-E-L-E-U-Z-E. Dabs for Deleuze from April 24th. And I retweeted this. He says, did you know at one point the Toronto Maple Leafs were Canadian? Now they're located in Ontario. (laughs) (laughs) Ah. All right, let's, uh, okay, Here, no, here's a really good one. And I discovered this uh, yesterday, or yeah, yesterday or today. And it's called Let's Go to War. Uh, the four words, let's, let's go to war, each war separated by an underscore. And when I discovered this account, he had no followers. And it looks like this is a veteran who was just starting to just tweet about his combat experiences. And this is just fucking fantastic. This is what I love. All right, this is like a, 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 um, a Twitter or a tweet uh, chain here. Oh, it's very long. I'll read a few of them. And then you can kind of get the idea. Any tips? Lean forward. I exit the plane at 3,000 feet and angle my body too aggressively, plummeting like a knife, not balancing out, hands forward to try to write myself. Wrong answer. 
flipping through the air like a coin toss. This is how I die. I'll go out swinging. I pull the cord. The packed chute explodes around me, guidelines whipping around my limbs and neck. It's a miracle nothing gets snagged. The chute snaps me into position and I know I've made it. Banking into a spiral and looking up, I see everyone I almost hit on the way down. I hit the LZ, pick up my chute, and double time it to the hangar. Trying to pack my chute for the next jump, but my hands are shaking like a shitting dog. Can't look weak. Got to get back up in the air. Next jump, good exit. Weak tug from the chute. I look up. No fucks. Uh, no fucking kidding. It hasn't deployed. It's all wrapped up in the lines. Two choices. I cut the chute and pray that I can deploy the reserve in time, or I start attacking my guidelines like a set of battle ropes and whip them free of the chute. I decide to better myself and go go down on those ropes. I've shoved my clips, my chips. I'm all in. I'm staring into the abyss and my body is on autopilot, whipping, kicking, twisting, screaming. Suddenly the chute pops. I pendulum and bank hard, spiraling towards the ground. I need to get out of the air before I lose it. I aim for the starting edge of the LZ and misjudge the wind, completely missing it. They're shouting, I'm flying across a live runway. The options aren't good. Either I crash into something solid or risk getting chopped up. I'll take a few can I'll take a few broken bones over the alternative. Aiming for a wall, this isn't going to be pretty. Should I flare before impact? Who fucking knows at this point? Impact. I'm alive. Adrenaline's pumping. I can't tell if I'm hurt or not. Better to get a visual. Seems okay. Better double time it to the hangar and get back in the air. The chief instructor gets in my face. He promises to ruin my life. I pack my chute. It's day two out of five on this course and I'm all out of luck. Can't show them I'm rattled. Let's get back in the air. Fucking awesome. That's from Let's Go to War. All right. This is one from Christopher. Uh, Usually when we make beef heart, we make a kebab on the grill. But this weekend, my wife dug up a classic Swedish recipe. Braised beef heart filled with mushrooms. Served with sauce made on reduction from braising and cream and fresh herbs. Best iteration so far. Sounds great, man. Well done. Here's one from Bitcoin Aesthetic. I have a harem. My harem runs a gym. This is the future I believe in. All right. This one from Brazil. Olavo de Carvalho. A classe jornalística no Brasil é instrumento docil do narcotráfico. É crime organizado. All right, let's keep rolling. Keep rolling here. Let's see what we got. All right, keep going down. Keep it up, keep it up. All right. Here's one from Doge, D-O-G-E. Quintus posting himself laughing at small accounts is my new favorite type of post. All right. That was a, I had to do that. Here's one from Randall Crick. Randall Crick, Founder's Impulse, Inheritor's Custom. All right, here's one from Amphitrite. My love for literature is wide awake, but when I try to do prose in class during my exam, my inspiration from last night crumbles. Remembering more abstract words is far from my reach as if I'm trying to find a grain of salt in a pot filled with sugar. How do I prevent this? This guy tweeted this out. You know, you got to appreciate that. Okay, here's one from Bronze Bender. Talk slower and more deeply. Stop using filler words. Take longer pauses. This is how you speak with confidence and will have others take notice of what you are saying as though it carries more weight. Well said. Nikolai Eberholst, Pike Gray, 1914-1918. Um... Well, this is just a, a view of a photo. Okay, forget that one. Um, here's a good one from Lei underscore job, L-E-I underscore job, J-O-B. <laughs> this guy, this is this this is the tweet. Met two girls in the swimming pool, swam much faster than me. That's this guy tweeted that. He met two girls in the swimming pool and they swam faster than he did. What a tragedy. You know, why the hell would anybody tweet that? But you got to love it. You got to love that. Okay, here's a good one from Spurgbot. <laughs> Spurgbot. And he says, I have an old friend who became schizo, and every few years he makes a new Instagram account to post random stuff and message me about memories of us that never happened. 
before deleting <laughs> before deleting the account within a few weeks. Good dude. All right. Okay, here's one. It's just a sequence of symbols. I can't even read it, but the Twitter name is at sign arcdisc, A-R-C-D-I-S-C. -A the spelling of license is infuriating to me. Good. Here we go from G parentheses lucid. It's at lucid census. Forget about aliens. China should release Neanderthal-esque primates at mass amounts so the human race can finally unite against a common problem. <laughs> And he also says, another tweet, let's bring back capes. Here's one from a guy named Frederick. His Twitter sign is at sign Kampfenheim. And he says, time, <laughs> time is a flat fucking circle, whatever that means. But it's good. Okay, here's one from Ecom Pepe. Success in the modern world is dependent on how well you can abstain from harmful addictions and how well you can steer your life into positive ones. Isn't that true? Here's one from a sequence of numbers. This Twitter sign is at B-U-L-A-G, Bulaj underscore. It all returns to Monk, M-O-N-K-E. Here's one from Dylan Thacker. Take a deep breath and remember who the fuck you are. Isn't that true? All right, here's one from a guy, just Mike, from at M MTBTWS. Destig destigmatization is like deforestation. It destroys moral ecosystems. We need to engage in a large-scale restigmatization program ASAP. Isn't that true? That's when you got to think about. And I'll let you think about that. All right, let's keep going here, see what we can find. Um... Here's one from Eddie, War on Weakness. 90% of male depression can be attributed to a lack of purpose. That's true. All right. Here's one from... Here's one from... Um, I am nice. And his Twitter sign is Severe Lockwang. Severe L-O-K-W-A-N-G. Tip of the spear, barrel of the gun. This is how power is won. Isn't that true? Okay, here's one from Chimp Ronin. Gotta love that name. Chimp Ronin. Imagine if red pill gurus couldn't talk about single mothers. They would be finished. Isn't that? Yeah, that's very true. Very true. All right. Here's one from Unit Original. I wonder what made the dinosaurs with the first feathers not pull them out. Maybe the first ones to get them usually did. <laughs> All right. Isn't that true? Okay. Here's from LDC President. Killer Meme Essays is the Twitter sign. If I ever get any followers, I'm just a tall, skinny black kid who thinks he's funny. <laughs> okay. Here's one from Zero. His just name is Zero. Mr. Yohanatan. And she says, I'm so fucking blessed, man. That's great. Good for you. All right, here's one. My beautiful bubble. How do we get good ideas on the table if every time we mention them, people go, yeah, that's a good idea, but it's not on the table. <laughs> okay, here's one from a crack addict. Nunca confiar en la gente que necesita sete alarmas para levantarse. Uh, it says, never trust a guy who needs seven alarms to get, to get up. Okay, well, that's true. That's true. And um, let's see if we can keep going here. Pete McAtamney. Peter McAtamney is the Twitter name. Watching the Jackal, watching the Jackal, and have to say Richard Gere's North Irish accent is painful to hear. At least I think it's a North Irish accent. It's hard to tell. Okay, I guess he's from Northern Ireland. So I guess here's one from Daniel Lugo, L-U-G-O, kind of a great name. Daniel Lugo. I wonder. <laughs> 
I wonder if the existence of the Mandelbrot set must mean there's at least one physical property described by it. What could, be that, what could that property be? It could be something as the fundamentals of reality or something more concrete, such as a force. I'd lean for the former. So he's got mathematics and physics on his mind. Good for him. Keep thinking. Keep pondering it. Uh, somebody's got to do it. And uh, here's one from Rambo. Twitter sign, Sovereign Rambo. Everyone and their mother is selling beard oils these days. <laughs> but... <laughs> But but there's an untapped market for using the highest quality ingredients. When my current bottle runs out, I'm experimenting with making my own. Beard oils, guys. Beard oils. Good for him. All right. Here's one from Mr. Teroni. Mr. Teroni. One time looked around the barber shop, not one clean shaved face in sight. Do men grow beards to hide the soy? Maybe they do. Maybe they do. All right. Well, we'll keep rolling here. Keep rolling. Here's an American monarchist in Virginia. People who reject natural hierarchies are destined to be ruled by unnatural ones. Very true. Here's one from Luca Cacciatore. Luca H. Cacciatore is his Twitter. And this guy says a pretty good comment here. You don't really realize we are living in the ruins of a much greater civilization until you pick up a book. You can't look around like you can't look around you like in the medieval era and see the deteriorating deteriorating Colosseums. You can go your entire life not understanding that that if you you can go your entire life not understanding that if you really avoided it. Okay, great. And here's one from Luca. L-U-C-A. And he just says one word, nulla. None. Nothing. No. Okay, here's one from Effluent Household. I win the respect of my community and hearts of women everywhere when I stand up for the weekly peanut butter discount at the supermarket cashier. Good for you. All right. Well, here's a great one I discovered. This is, this is, this is his Twitter. His Twitter handle is Billiam W. Fuckley. <laughs> Billiam W. Fuckley. All right. He says, I'd like to welcome my latest followers, each more based than the last. It's time to embrace Bill Fuckley thought. That's right. That's right. Okay. White Boy Solar. Just bought my mom $100 worth of home decor stuff for Mother's Day. Good for you, man. That's good. All right. Take flight to a quiet life. It's the name of the account. Workable methods come from hard fought experience. Okay, here's one from Twitter sign at E N E R G V T I C and a lightning bolt. Reality is beautiful because what's beautiful approximates perfection, and what's perfect is truthful, and as such is an inexorable constituent of the symphony of what's real. Okay. All right. Some other ones here. Let's see if I can find some good ones. Getting getting close to the end here. Okay. Here's one from a guy named Ricky. Okay. Shit is really hitting the fan all over the world. I work with people from Venezuela, El Salvador, Colombia, etc. And damn. Well, Captain Obvious, well said. Um... Here's one from. Here's one from uh, Electron Nightmare. <laughs> Electron Nightmare. Quote: They took this from you. Bullshit. You gave it up for pizza, pop, pot, porn, and alcohol, and now you want it back. They'll burn up your money and throw away the ash because if they gave you anything, they're going to take it back. You asked for the song. Now dance. Well said. Good for you, man. Good for you. All right, almost done here. A couple more, then we're done. Here's one from Troglodyte. I was beginning to consider that the Treaty of Versailles was a mistake, and then German customs officials confiscated five of my seven Zippos. Needless to say, my sympathy for them has gone back to zero. Okay. Prems Ironside. P-R-E-M-Z space Ironside. Your crypto guru has nothing to say when he's making losses. 
Yep, I guess not. Um, here's one from a guy, just J. The letter J is at I forged path. And he just says night landscapes. <laughs> okay, well said. All right, last one from Dr. Goldstein, PhD, 61 IQ 187. I like when girls named Sydney let you call them Sid. <laughs> well said. All right, so that's uh, the end of our first install, installment here on Small Account Gold. And uh, maybe we'll do a repeat of this later on. Until then, get the... I'll, I'll, I'll say this one thing. If you're a small account holder, these are the things that I pick up on that I notice. I'll say them again. Put some original content out there. It doesn't have to be fantastic. Don't overthink it. Just put something out there. Don't be one of these accounts that just retweets mindlessly other people's stuff. And um, have fun. Enjoy it. Be sincere. Be honest. And uh, just let it fly, man. Sometimes you just have to let shit rip. So until next time, we'll talk soon. Quintus Curtius and I am out.